Hi everyone, today I would like to show you Automesh Affectors, which is a new asset from Ale Games. So let's get right to it. Uh, Automesh Affectors is a mesh editing tool that edits your mesh with one click. So for example you can go from this mesh, this is imported from Blender, to this mesh, so it smooths it out. Or from this mesh, you can distort it and smooth out the vertices to go to this mesh. So with one mesh you can edit it uh, very easily over a few clicks and get uh, new meshes so it's useful for making new rocks or stuff. Just, yeah. So for example, uh, if I just open mesh effectors, which, which you can do by clicking Shift and M or by going to Tools, Alec Games, Auto Mesh and Affectors. You can see the window here. So what you have to do is select an object with a mesh filter. So click on any object. It should select it. And yeah, so uh, what you can do, I will just duplicate it and choose not to save it. Uh, just for purposes of showing the asset to you. So I can smooth the vertices. I have two filters. Uh, let's just choose H HC because it keeps the shape more intact. So I can click and you see I have a mesh. I can undo and I can use location which will make the mesh smaller but yeah it basically made a rock. So then from this rock I can distort it a little bit Oh, I, I'm sorry, I used the lapation again. I can distort it and I have another rock. I can distort it once again and I have another rock. So this way I just created two different rocks in a few seconds. I can choose a little bit of um, pivot distortion and reduce this one so that it would uh, keep the shape a bit more and I have another rock so if I just put a texture onto this guy I will have rocks another thing you can do is flip normals or um, double sided mesh which may be useful if your shader doesn't use um, doesn't have a double siding feature uh, it works with sub meshes as you can see you can copy from one side to another you can make another the other side sub mesh only with one sub mesh so you can have three materials one for the inside and uh, to keep the outside intact um, the opposite so the outside is one sub mesh and the inside are two sub meshes so it's very easy uh, to do so uh, as you can see it selected the mesh i have selected automatically so if i just double side i have many features I can uh, split all sub meshes so I can use four materials uh, for everything. But if I just do um, same index sub mesh combine, this is the most basic one. It will copy from one side to another. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, I can flip the normals. This will flip the normals. Um, what I can do too is, for example, smooth out mesh lighting, which is a very nice effect if you want to uh, make your game seem not low poly, but actually use low poly um, models. So if I just join the vertices here and affect, I have smooth lighting. It looks a bit odd here because the mesh is very sharp, so let me just... Um, smooth the vertices by a little bit and now I have a smooth rock basically I can distort it again and yeah it's yeah I have rock a rock um, no actually I shouldn't close it uh, so yeah it works with two sub meshes too the joining and splitting vertices because you can split them too so here I have a smooth model and I can split the mesh and now you can see each triangle is separate so here 
a triangle separate which can create uh, very nice effects uh, on certain models. Another thing you can do is offset the mesh or scale it because uh, I think that uh, some applications, I mean some tools do not accept objects, they get meshes like the trees on the terrain so you can offset, if you, your tree is too big or mesh on it is offset it incorrectly you can use mesh effectors to fix that very easily so if I just get offset the mesh I, I have a handle here uh, just make sure to reset affected transform rotation so that it would display correctly but I can like move it here and yeah uh, rotate it and yeah it's like you can see here uh, if I just affect it now the mesh will snap to this position yet its pivot is still here so this is the transform and this is the mesh so yeah um, that's uh, very useful if you ask me uh, in some cases and you can scale the mesh which well scales the mesh like simply scales it don't really know what you can expect from this feature except for scaling and that's basically it for now uh, as with any of my assets if you ask for a feature and it's not going to be like super complex I will most likely add it uh, so yeah that's automation factors hope you'll find it useful and have a nice day bye bye